Yo, what's up guys, and welcome to the Mills Reverie Escalation. Mine is Mr. Freeze 2244. All three levels done, Son Assassin. This is the Halloween Escalation. And uh, for level one, we have to pacify Awesome with the Spooky Bat. And we are not allowed to eliminate him because it's, it's basically Awesome having a dream. I use this loadout, but um, you can use your default equipment for level one. None of this is necessary. So the Spooky Bat is going to be right next to you as soon as you get out of the bed. So you can just go ahead and grab that. And now we just need to head over to Orson. Level 1 is just very, very simple, straightforward. Basically, just run straight to Orson, knock him out, then exit. Not really much to it. We're just going to avoid some guards on the way. But uh, level 1, it does escalate in difficulty for level 2 and 3. But we'll get to that. Uh, it's obviously, obviously a very long escalation, especially for level 3. Overall, I really do appreciate the um, all the changes they've made to this map. They've actually made it very good. Um, the, you know, the nice filter they have here, the Halloween theme going on. I really like the outfit too. I really wish it was an unlockable, but unfortunately it's not. But uh, as, soon as, you as soon as you take part in Esca Escalation, you get the tactical wetsuit automatically. And once you've finished all three levels of the Escalation, you get the, like, uh, shuriken, which is like a bat. It's like a batarang, basically. But just follow what I'm doing right here. Go ahead and knock Orson out. He immediately disappears. And now we're just going to head to any exit you want to. There's a quite a, There's about three or four of them. But uh, we're going to head to this exit over here because it's the closest one. And it's just going to be in a closet. So it's going to be an open closet in the middle of a, a beach. There's a couple of these as well. And as soon as you enter the closet, we can exit the mission. Straightforward level one. So wait for it to just load here. With some The Mills Reverie. That's the feat there you get. And that's that will unlock your tactical wetsuit. So you're just, just taking part in this. You don't even have to get Sonic Saturn or anything like that. So for level two, uh, it's the same objectives, but they do escalate a little bit later on. This time we are going to bring a lot more longer tranquilizer. Don't worry about the lockpick. You don't need it. Don't need it for this mission. But I just tend to use that in any way. So, so we are going to bring this tranquilizer, tranquilizer along with us for this one as well. But uh, we are not going to use it until later on. But the first thing you'll notice when you get in the mission is the bat is now no longer there next to your bed. You have to go uh, to the other side uh, where Orson is. There's going to be a guard there. Your bat will be propped up right next to him. So that's the bat we need to go and retrieve. So you may notice that the objectives are exactly the same. But they will escalate once one objective has been ticked off. So once we've completed one, another objective will be added. And once you've completed that, another objective. So there's actually overall just three Objectives for level 2, I think, if I remember correctly. But we're just going to cross this beach right now. And you'll see a guard there propped up against the tree, just under that scarecrow. And just behind him, there's going to be that bat there, just laying across uh, a little uh, paving stone there. And what we're actually going to do is just wait for that guard on the left to move away before we cross this little beach area. And we're going to quickly sneak up to that uh, greystone and go and grab the bat. So grab it. Stay crouched when you're doing this to avoid detection. Then get into this grass. We're going to pull out a coin. I'm going to throw it just over there. And there's little uh, little shrubs. Or grass, if, whatever you want to call it. And then we're going to throw the bat at his head. There we go. And his body immediately disappears. So you don't have to worry about the body being found. So, Orson is going to be on the rooftop now. We're going to have to push him off the roof. So he just disappears now. And he just appears on the roof. Don't forget he's dreaming. We're inside of Orson's dream, so that's what these escalations are all about, really. There's going to be a guard in this area, so just watch out for him. And there's going to be a guard patrolling to the pool area to your left. Again, watch out for that guard there. We're going to head up the stairs now. There'll be a guard further away in your distance. He is moving away, but he won't move until you get near him like this. And, the, he, you know, his movement is triggered by when we're close to him. But we have to take him out. Because if we don't take him out, we, when we push, uh, push Orson off the roof, he will hear the thud and he will come down to investigate and find the body. So that, we don't want that. So we're taking him out prematurely. So once we head up the stairs here, we're going to take out the guy on the right with a trank. And then we're going to get behind the other guard and then go ahead and choke him out. So that's two guards taken care of on the roof. We're going to grab these little pumpkins as well, because why not? These are a new item to the game. But we're going to head up to Orson now and just push him off the roof. And you'd think it'd kill him, but there's a big mattress down there, so that's how they explain that one away. So the third objective will pop up saying, Sacrifice Orson to the Circle of the Weeping Angels. And what we have to do is head down to the bottom floor again, and then we need to drag him over to the Weeping Angels, which is like a bunch of uh, statues down there. 
we do have to take out another guard as well. Just going to leap over this railing here, but to stay crouched as soon as you land to avoid detection, because they will hear your thud as you drop, because there's a couple of guards there. But yeah, there's going to be one guard to your right patrolling up and down, and there's going to be a guard standing right in front of where we need to be. So you need to gauge where that guard on your right patrolling up and down is. And if he's far away, like he is for me, go ahead and take out this guard that's just standing right in front of these statues and drag him into the grass as quick as you can. You'll see the guard there in the distance with the light. He's heading his way back now. That's the guard I was referring to. And uh, we're going to wait for him to move away before we drag Orson over to that circle. So the idea is you drag him into the middle of that circle there and then as soon as you let go of the body uh, the objective will be complete and then we can head to the exit. So for level 2 it's not that tricky, it's just a matter of this timing is right. So make, for, make sure we wait for that guard to uh, move away again and then we'll have plenty of time to drag him. So there we go. The body should disappear. Now we can head to the exit, which is the, just the closet right here. And then you'll get a nice assassin rating for level 2. For some reason, when you end the, end the mission, the loading is really long for some reason. Longer than normal missions are, which is a bit strange, considering it's uh, one of the fastest loading maps. But that takes care of level 2, so let's go ahead and move on to level 3. And this time we are definitely using the um, the trank. We need to uh, pacify or eliminate all of the guards on the map for level 3. And we're going to bring along a fish, but you can use any melee item that you have on you. Plus the beach is scattered with melee items if you haven't got any. But it's not completely necessary, but it makes things a little bit more faster. So that's the reason why I'm bringing along a fish. But you can bring along any melee item for level 3. But uh, that's what we're going to bring. So we have to pacify all 24 guards on the beach. So first of all, we're going to knock this guy out right here. Stay uh, stay standing up as you're running across the beach. Don't crouch, because we need to get over to that uh, those guards over here as fast as we can. We're taking out the middle guard first, because uh, we want to get them before they start the patrol, because this makes it a lot more easier, because we can go from one area to another. So we're going to take out this guard right here. Stay, stay standing up in the grass, because if you, if you crouch, they will turn around. So that's, you need to watch out for that. We're going to wait for him to get close to the grass here, because we're going to, when we knock him out, we're going to drag him into the grass to hide his body. And because we're on the outskirts of the map, it will say leaving mission area, but don't worry about that. The screen will go a little bit blurry, but that's about it. We're going to throw the fish at this guy right here, because we don't want to hear you, we don't want him to hear us rustling in the grass. And here's another guard we're going to take out. Again, you can throw the fish if you want to. I'm just going to run up to him, smack him in the head. It's five down. Here's number six. Right. So that's the uh, the harder guards out of the way, I think. So that's six down. Next, we're going to take out that uh, take out this guard right here. We're going to take him out with a tranquilizer. Because we want the patrolling guard to see this body. And plus, we need to retrieve this bat as well. So that's seven down. So that guard right there, we want him to see the body so he can turn around. Because if we knocked him out normally and the body gets spotted, you lose your sight as Adam Rayton. And you might be saying, why don't you just shoot people? Because if you do that, you lose your sight as Adam Rayton. And I'm about all, getting, all about getting the sight as Adam Rayton. So that's the reason why I'm going for the knockout route. But once we've knocked him out there, we are eight down. And we're going to take out Orson. We're going to throw this bat at his head. So that will complete one of the objectives. Boom. Okay, that's it. We're eight guards down. And uh, we've taken out one of the objectives. We're going to pull out our fish again. I'm going to take out this guard by the tree. Just watch out for his uh, head turning right here. But we're just going to throw the fish and get behind him. Just to make sure. There's going to be a meaty bone next to him. And there's going to be a fish on this little statue right here. Grab all of them. The more melee items, the better. So we're nine down. The tenth guard is going to be this one dude right here. Again, we're just going to throw a fish at his head. And then move on. And now 
now. We're going to take out this guy right here too. There's a guy patrolling on the beach, but we'll take him out at the end because he's far away from us right now. So if you're with me right, the moment, right now, you should be on 11 out of 24. That's the guy I was talking about, just down further down the beach. This little bit area is a little bit annoying because uh, there's a lot of guards around here. There's like three or four, and uh, they're all around each other. And um, just knocking them out makes a lot of noise. So we're going to stay in this bush right here. And for me, the guard is inside and he's going to be, you know, standing there next to the pool. We are going to wait for him to come back out of the building and move away from us. So we can have a conversation with the guard at the other end while the, by the steps. And uh, once we've got a bit of a distance between this guard in front of me and that guard wa uh, walking away, we'll be going ahead and throwing this fish at this guard in front of us. But the guard on the roof will hear it. He will come down to investigate, so that means we have to drag him as uh, quick as we can. But wait until that guard has got a fair bit of distance between you and the guard. And th then throw the fish at him, because we don't want that guard to find out. So go ahead and pick up the fish as well and drag him over here into this bush, to these uh, set of grass. The guard on the roof is going to investigate that noise and he's going to come down and see the shotgun. Meanwhile, these two over here are going to have a conversation and they will finish it momentarily. But overall, we have to wait about a minute for all this to line up for us because this part is a little bit annoying. You can, you can be a little bit more risky if you want to, but I decide to be more patient because patience is key when it comes to stealth. And I think it's worth not taking the risks when it comes to something like tw taking out 24 guards. So we're halfway there. We're, we're 12 down anyway. He's going to take that shotgun away. And he's going to store that. I think it's in the garage area. And uh, we can actually throw a coin here if we wanted to, I suppose. I don't know if that would work. I haven't actually tried it. But this guy's going to come back into the pool area. He's going to stand in front of the pool just like he did earlier. Uh, but we are actually going to wait for him to come back out. Because, uh, yeah, it's less risky. So, taking guards out one by one is a lot more easier to deal with multiple guards. We're going to take out the two dudes on the roof the same way as we did in the previous level anyway. So it's not that difficult. So now he's exited the building, we can go ahead and throw the fish out of his head. That's 13 out of 24. And we're going to drag him into the tall grass. Use your mini-map for reference as well. His body isn't actually hidden until he's, uh, the little, his little logo on the mini-map is actually into the bushes area. Because I've noticed that earlier. Even though it says hidden, it's not. So now we are 13 out of 24 down. Once we knock out this next guard, all the guards on the mini-map will show up. So there's going to be a guard on the side. Whack. And there you go. On your mini-map, as you, as you can see, all the guards are now popped up for you. Which I'm glad they did. Because I was worried about going on a, like, a big really hunt. Big hunt for all these guards. And it's gonna, I thought it was going to be annoying. So. I'm going to come outside now. Go ahead and throw that fish out of the guard out here. That's 15 out of 24. We're more than halfway there. And now we can head to the roof. Three more to take care of in this building. So just like the previous level. This guard won't move until you're in the vicinity. And uh, we're going to take him out the same way as we did previously. We're just going to go ahead and knock him out. And now we're going to head to the roof. We're going to use our final trank in our gun. And take out the guard to the right. Stay to the left of this building. And then go ahead and shoot him on the right. Pull out to the, the meaty bone or your fish again. Wait for that guard to actually fully pass out first before knocking him out. Because for some reason, if you do it too quickly, the body will get found and yeah, it's not good. So then we're now uh, 16 out of 24. 18 out of 24, I should say. You're going to go push Orson off the roof. We have six guards remaining and we have to sacrifice Orson to the Circle of the Weeping Angels as well. And uh, But it's relatively easy at this point. Because we've taken care of basically all of the guards right now. Almost. Gonna jump over this little ledge here. You can only jump from the middle for some reason, I don't know why. But you know, you don't have to worry too much about the guards now because they're now scattered. So we're just gonna go ahead and take out this guard real quick. Ah. 
Don't have to worry about hiding the body, actually. I realised that when I grabbed him, I thought, ah, oh, I don't need to, because I've already, already taken out the guards. So we're going to quickly um, sort out Orson. We're going to take him out to this sacrificial uh, circle of the Weeping Angels. And then you'll get another objective pop-up at the end as well. So let's just take care of this first. Then we'll have uh, five more guards remaining. So once he disappears, that's your objective completed. Now you've got to bring Orson with you into the closet. So first of all, we need to take out the guards. And uh, the first person we're going to take care of is the guy on the beach. And then the, the other two, uh, the other four guards, I should say, two of them are going to be together, another two are going to be together as well. But take out the guy on the beach first. He's the nice and easy one, because he's isolated. leave his body there it's no it's no problem 20 out of 24 the next two guards are going to be here one of them's going to be trolling up and down and this guard on the right here he's going to be uh, looking back and forth we're going to wait for a moment where the guard on the left is walking away and this guard has his back to us so we can go ahead and knock them both out so now the guard on the left walking away just waiting for this guard to turn around now. And there's our cue. I'm going to throw it to save time. I'm going to use the fish on this dude. And I recommend just hiding this body just to be, make sure. I was going to create a distraction here straight away, but I realized if I threw a coin over here to the left, this guard is actually going to see this body, isn't he? So that's why I thought, just make sure you hide this body. Because you don't want to fail at this point. Because it's 10 minutes. And you really have to start it all over again. And it's annoying. So. We have two uh, two guards now remaining. I'm going to head over to this tall grass here. And then we're going to throw a coin far over to the left. Circle around this entire area. And get behind us uh, the guard on the right. We need to get quite close. And then we're going to throw the, uh, the fish. At the guard that's walking away. At his head. And then quickly subdue the second guard, or the final guard, I should say. And that's that objective completed. All we've got to do now is knock out Orson, and then drag him into the closet with you. It'd be cool if you could drag him while he was still, like, uh, conscious, but never mind. That would have that been funny, to see him, like, squealing and crying and stuff like that. Because <laughs> he's having a nightmare. But once we've dumped him in the closet, we can enter there with him, and that will complete the escalation. Excellent. So I would say it's just as easy as that, but it took me quite a while to route this, because it's um, quite uh, annoying knowing which parts to go to, or which guards, or which route to take. I ended up pretty much doing a zigzag across the beach a few times, didn't I? But it works, because we're taking it one by one. So uh, overall, I think it's a very easy route to do Assassin for level 3, and hopefully this is... Uh, uh, this has had this helped you out as well but that's going to do it for this video so thank you very much for watching feel free to drop a like on this video if it helped you out subscribe if you are brand new to the channel and hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams and consider supporting me on patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description and you'll see all the different perks you get with each member tier shout out to Arjal, finn parkinson and the shafe becoming the top tier psycho assassin members of the channel i really do appreciate it and i'll see you guys next time and uh, Cheers.